So I believe in any sport, you have to go through three, three columns, if you like, as an athlete. First, you have to perceive it, you have to see it. Second, you have to make a decision on what you see. The third thing, then you have to act on it. Okay, so, so I'm gonna try and move them through a session where we start to compromise the decision and the perception. Now that doesn't mean that the action bit is not important. It's really important. But I'm gonna see if I can compromise their decision making when defending. And that's what the session's built around, really. You're gonna play, free play, try and go and score. If it becomes too much pressure, you can step out with the ball. You'll come in, Charlie, or you'll come in. Okay, so the opposite player will come in. Good, play. And relax. Well done. Intensity's good, but I need you to understand a couple of principles. One, do, do we need to get fast or slow pressure on this ball? Okay, so all the time we want to try and get fast pressure on the ball if we can. But I need you to open your body shape so you can see things. So if he's in danger, first thing, can we get pressure on this ball from the distances? Probably not. So we need to look. If he looks like he's going to step off, okay, then we need to be alive. And I need you to be really secure with a second line of defence. Come back in here so we can't be caught, OK? So I'm trying to work on this middleman's decision making. What is he seeing? So can he read the pressure on the ball? Can he read the perception on the ball? So here we go, ready to play. So step off, danger's coming. Can I sense the danger? Ready to play? We'll play from the keeper, OK? Good. Well done, Gary. Great cover, Gary. Great cover, Gary. Well done. What I'm looking for is the players that are trying to read the pressure. So I'm looking for the player that's trying to read the pressure rather than just pressing. So how good does that pressure need to look like? And what does that pressure need to look like? So, Nathan, what are you going to go and press on? A bad touch. A bad touch, a slow touch. Good. One trigger. What else are you pressing on? Pass. Slow pass. Ne what do you mean by negative? Uh, so if it's a backwards pass. Now, what's his body shape telling us there? Go again. What's his body shape telling us? Well, he might be, he's going to travel inside. So what could you do here? To make him come down the line. You could. What's he going to do, though? Go down the line. Good. OK, so you might actually, at this point, if he's travelling with a negative first touch, that's where you can go aggressive on him, OK? And I want you to get your body low. Can you get in there? Can you go and try and steal? If he turns out, you might have to lock off. You need to read his cues, OK? But you might need to tell him as well. Ready to play? Let's go. Good. Gary, what I'm going to say? Yeah, let go. Yeah, that's the time when we get pressure on, OK? Ready? Play again. Let's go. Watch your stutch. Yes, good. Up. Well done. Good. Better. Well done. Better. Well done. Excellent. Excellent. Decisions, Nathan. Well done. Gary, well done. And relax. So, keep stopping you, because it's important. What were you thinking? Why were you thinking that? Because the ball was over there. Ah, so what's your good decision here? Go back, pressure on the ball. Well done, you. Huh? Okay. Good, so I want you to keep the line, but if he has to go, we've got to be strong. So you need to open your body shape out so that you can see the danger. If you're really focusing on this, you can't see what he's doing, okay? So as soon as you can see, looks like it's going to progress in pressure, shoulders open, cut the body, see the danger, okay? Ready to play. Ready? Let's go from you, good. Body shape is important. Good, good block, Charlie. Well done, great block. Good. Don't be flat, Gary, you don't need to. Good. Good. Nathan. Good, Nathan. Superb. Good. OK, decisions. Well done, Charlie. Good. Well done. Ah, Charlie, decisions. Decisions. 